Over the past 31 years, the Bishop Ewusi Brookman pioneered the prophetic movement in the western and central region of Ghana and in Europe. He's back imparting the prophetic gift to many more generation who desire to operate in the office of the prophet. The Bishop Ewusi Brookman is a firebrand apostolic prophet commissioned by God to bring deliverance to the captives. prosperity to the poor heal the sick and raise champions of faith for Christ through the cross join us in rima hour and be transformed into a new person in Christ Jesus and now the message by the bishop ibusi bukuman Hallelujah. The first night of our grass to grace conference. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And I'm certain tonight God will certainly meet somebody at the point of his or her need. Amen. Come with me quickly to the book of Genesis 39 verse 1. Genesis the chapter number 39 and verse 1. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar an officer of Pharaoh captain of the guard an Egyptian bought him from the Ishmaelites who had taken him down there the lord was with Joseph and he was a successful man and he was in the house of his master the Egyptian And his master saw that the Lord was with him and that the Lord made all he did to prosper in his hand. So Joseph found favor in the sight of his boss and he served him. Then he made him overseer of his house and all that he had he put under his authority. So it was from the time that he had made him overseer of his house and all that he had that the lord blessed the egyptian's house for joseph's sake and the blessing of the lord was on all that he had in the house and in the field thus he left all that he had in joseph's hand and he did not know what he had except for the bread which he ate now joseph was handsome in form and in appearance lift your two hands and let's pray I want to thank you heavenly father for this privilege to share your word i'm asking that as i share this word you will minister to lives i'm declaring by the oil that the broken will be restored back to glory sick will be healed the bound will be loose sinners will be born again and at the end of the day somebody from the gutterus shall be connected to the uttermost Thank you father in Jesus mighty name I pray amen now have a somebody and tell the person your shame will be turned to glory at least he tell me i said high five somebody and tell him oh hey your shame will be turned to glory hallelujah you know we have been dealing with this subject from grass to grace and as i was up there brooding over the scriptures Uh, this kept coming to mind some 37 verse 37 some 37 verse 37 mark the upright man behold the righteous the end of that man is peace if you see an upright man who is the upright man in the new covenant the upright man is the one who is the righteousness of god in christ jesus and so that is we the christians The Bible says mark we the Christians and behold those of us who are upright in Christ. Our end is peace. So in that sense what the Bible is saying is that I may begin very horrible. My beginning may be very 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 bad, but my end 
that's why the bible says that better is the end of a thing than the beginning though my beginning shall be small my latter shall greatly increase it is only in this kingdom that fugitives like moses nobody's people who were on their heels because they had committed a treason some years after rose up from nothing and they became mighty people who the world celebrates why because god is able to lift up a man from the dungeon establish him among princes that he may inherit the throne of glory i'm here to tell you if you are down get ready some Something is about to happen to you and your lives will see a total turnaround if you believe it stand up shout like your voice is yours it's only in this kingdom that prostitutes like rahab can end up becoming one of the physical grandmothers of jesus tonight your grass state is giving way for grace a dome to a boom to a better future messed up state into a message everybody will talk about from tests into testimonies i see heaven coming through for you they said you are poor but get ready a poor person is becoming a rich person do you believe your god is able to do exceedingly clap and shout like your voice is yours we learned on sunday through the first second third services that joseph was sold by his own brothers into the hands of the Ishmaelites. At the 39 and verse 1 again, Genesis 39 verse 1. Now Joseph had been taken down to Egypt and Potiphar, an officer of Pharaoh, captain of the guard, an Egyptian, bought him from the Ishmaelites. He was sold by his brothers to the Ishmaelites. And now we can see another transaction going on again. This time around, the Ishmaelites were also selling him again to Potiphar. So in your own eyes, you see two transactions going on on your head. Sold by your brothers and sold by the Ishmaelites. Have you been sold double before? Grass state. At that particular time, I can I can see Joseph more or less saying that I'm a useless after all person. I'm very useless because my own brothers rejected me, and now in the hands of the Ishmaelites, thinking they can use me for one slave master to sell it to another slave master means you are totally useless to him. Now recall, I told you that in those days, according to the custom, if a slave was going to be sold, you were to be naked. Because the one buying you must assess you, examine you, look at your buttocks, your head, and every part of your body to really be convinced that this is very good material. And so you can imagine two occasions, he being naked before people he didn't know. Have you been scandalized and stigmatized that much before in life? Tonight, the God of Joseph is in the house. And it's about to turn your low state into a high state. Do you believe God can lift up a man from the dust and showcase him and make him a great person? That is what is going to happen to you tonight. If the God of Joseph is in the house and you believe he did it for Joseph and he has not changed and is the same yesterday, today and forever, then I want you to know the same grace is locating you tonight. I thought you would clap and shout like your voice is yours. That's the first thing that we learned. Showed twice. Although double problems. If you state the case of Rhoda as a slave girl in her mistress's house in the new covenant, I think in the book of Acts number 12, when Peter stepped out of the prison supernaturally by the assistance of the angel, the Bible says he fled straight to the house of um, what is his name, Mary, huh? the mother of John. John Mark. And the Bible says when they were in, in the house of Mary praying, Peter went and knocked at the door and wrote that the slave girl, who apparently was the slave of the house, so she's supposed to go and answer. She opened the door and saw Peter run and came to tell them whilst they were praying that Peter is there knocking at the door and they all told her you are stupid. That cannot be Peter. It is his ghost. In those days, what I'm saying is that when slaves talk, nobody takes them serious. That was how base Joseph was. But if God made Joseph a prime minister, in spite of all this, I'm here to tell somebody that this year, get ready, God is about to do something for you. Can you stand up, clap, and shout? 
he is able to do exceedingly abundantly above what you think or ask according to the power that worketh in you the god of joseph is about to put a sprint in your feet and a gleam in your eye he will give you extra favor that will let you do what nobody has done that's the first thing we saw the second thing we saw was that the bible said whatever he did prospered whatever he did prospered get radio say from now through the end of the year you have the middle touch things people do they fail you would do it and success will just be coming like that hallelujah the guy the bible said prospered in whatever he did to the extent that the bible said his boss looked at him and realized that the lord was with him to the extent where the bible said that because of him his boss also started getting the blessing i'm here to tell you this year from now to 31st december goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the lord forever but bishop do you know what we are talking about i don't have any good certificate i've never had any daylight of good education that's fine this is a slave who didn't have phd yet whatever he taught prosper who told you success is dependent on the degrees you have i release the oil of success upon your life i told somebody who grab it with fire labido kapataya in your music industry i prophesy on the singers you will succeed in your ministry in every career of yours i declare success on every side any attack of the devil to resist your success we come against it and prophesy nevertheless the counsel of god success You have been listening to Rima Hour with the Bishop Ewusi Bookman. Stay tuned. Are you ready ready? for the next level conference? Yes, we are stepping up into our land, our rest, the Rima Embassy, which the Lord God has promised is exceedingly good and is flowing with milk and honey. Join us at the Next Level Conference, a 10-day conference with two sections, the morning section at 9 a.m. to 12.30 p.m., evening section at 6.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m., date 3rd to 14th July 2019, venue Rima Carver Center. Pakwase, ACP Junction, opposite the High Tension Bus Stop theme. Step up. This next level conference will host two mega all night on Friday, 5th and 12th of July at 9 p.m. respectively. Speakers: The Bishop Edwin Ewusi Bookman and his sons, Prophet Charles Fifi Hagen, Reverend Michael Asare, Reverend Blanson Edu Okai, Reverend Theophilus Amen Mensa, Prophet Isaac Anam, Prophet. Jedediah Bondanti Kumil and Prophet Stephen Otsre Ministering Minister Akofa of Rima Voices in One Fame Rima Stars RCC Mass Choir Minister Ben K and PS Adorable Step up for the next level conference Be not afraid Only be strong and courageous For the Lord your God goes before you and he is your rare God This conference is under the sound leadership of God's anointed servant the Bishop Edwin Ewusi Brookman. And now, the continuation of the message by the Bishop Ewusi Brookman. The Bible said, prospered in whatever he did to the extent that the Bible said his boss looked at him and realized that the Lord was with him to the extent where the Bible said that because of him his boss also started getting the blessing I'm here to tell you this year from now to 31st December goodness and mercy shall follow you all the days of your life and you will dwell in the house of the Lord forever but Bishop do you know what we are talking about I don't have any good certificate I've never had any daylight of good education that's fine this is a slave who didn't have phd yet whatever he taught prospered who told you success is dependent on the degrees you have i release the oil of success 
upon your life. I tell somebody who grab it with fire. Labido kapataya. In your music industry, I prophesy on the singers you will succeed in your ministry. In every career of yours, I declare success on every side. Any attack of the devil to resist your success, we come against it and prophesy. Nevertheless, the counsel of God. Success. Shout success three times. Success. 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 Whatever he did prospered. Oh. Whatever he did. Whatever. Now when I read that, I was like, God, are you, are you, are you that serious? Go on and say whatever he did prospered. It means that when he was even you. Am I, I, I communicating? No, unless you don't understand grammar. Whatever means whatever. I prophesy that your body will be an energy erupted vessel. You'll be full of success on every side. Receive that touch. Whatever he did. Mangedebo Shada. Whatever he did. Whatever he did. Whatever he did. Building his auditorium. Praying for the sick. Laying hands on the poor people. Preaching the word. Every career you find yourself. The contract you are trusting God for. Whatever he did. And I release that same blessing on you. And declare that whatever you do from today. You shall prosper. Can you clap and shall prosper? Whatever he did. Whatever he did. Maliko Sifitahaya. So then let me preach some word. Whatever he did, prosper. Father, bring our CC to a point. Next man, when we move to a new place, the new auditorium, eh? I'm seeing some strange things in this. One of the things I'm seeing is that, Charlie, people will prosper like no man's business. In the book of Ezra, the Bible says, and the people builded and they prospered. Timothy, me, sister, sorry, then within five years, ah. As you enter, while Satan listening to sound word, you will prosper. And whatever they did, whatever Joseph did, whatever, whatever he did, prospered. Bring us to that realm where pastors will prosper, deacons and deaconesses will prosper. Singers will pro- I'm looking for a time where my girls, you'll be coming to church with your rose races and your limos. Father, take record. Anybody who believes in this prophet, let him prosper. Maligo Bahashatala Bahaya. I declare that your marriage shall prosper. You will not marry some mumu man. And then one Sunday morning, you wake up and then you realize he had committed suicide because of pressure. Sit down. Hallelujah. Whatever he did. I can preach from this very side for one year. Whatever he did, whatever also, whatever he did, prospered. You see, and when we say prosperity, the world talks about only money. But the God kind of prosperity is when you're so prosperous, you have good health to handle your wealth. As a kingdom kind of prosperity. The kind of blessing that can come on you that money cannot buy. Like good relationships. Am I communicating? I know some very serious rich people. Powerful, influential people. But they can't sleep at night. They are very rich, poor people. But this kind of prosperity I'm talking about is the one that comes upon you. Where everything you do prospers. That's, that's very deep. Eh? So John prayed for the church and said, I wish above all things that you prosper as you're so prosperous and you be in health. That's the all round kind of blessing God will lavish upon his people. You prosper your soul. In your soul is your mind. Your will and your emotions. So when the Bible says that you'll be prospered in your soul, it means emotionally, emotionally you'll be stabilized. In your will, whatever you will to 
path god will make sure it's at your beck and call that's a soulless kind of prosperity where you don't act crazy you don't think mad what can destabilize people you hear it and you are resilient and you are going through what can kill people you handle it so cool and i pray that that blessing will come upon somebody and he prospered in whatever he did he brought to a point where his boss saw that this guy is a blessed guy i declare that this year your enemies go see him uh-uh, you ain't saying amen can i talk to somebody in this place 2019 people who thought you cannot wait they will be part of your wedding ceremony they will come and chew chips <laughs> i thought you stand up and shout then go see him half a summer tell the person then go see him then go see him the car you drive the house you live in the children god will give to you Mago Baka, Shata, Pata. they will watch it and change their mind and say your god is faithful but when shemna ye did the nyanko pong in shlau mako poka shadada bahaya oh glory to god his boss so you see it's different when a subordinate or a protege sees his boss successful but when your boss sees you the protege successful then that's a different ball game altogether and the people above you will see that you are getting blessed than, than them it, it's supposed to have been the other way around but <laughs> glory to god mago bati haso tepesha then go see him. Mm, you're not saying amen. I said then go see him. So our cousins now almost said they are from a good home than yours. It had the Pebia come cider. Now they be a mu one omu champuano. This year, then go see say God day your side too. I believe it. Catch your twenty said then go see him. Even in this church. Oh yes, even in this church. Now that come you say they be a mu no de cab by near poor normal lift home. To Timu Kola Pass, no much that do I call in Nam. Hallelujah. It's the Gonomi idea, Utimis won't come because who can say a base you? You see, this year it will be your year. I said it will be your year. Receive the blessings of God. Hallelujah. When we started RCC, I told you, I was the only person who was parking a car. Then one day, one of the pastors went out and said, Papa, of our 8 to 10 members, now two people have parked two cars added to your car. I was happy and I told the pastor, Charlie, we are building a mega church. <laughs> Hallelujah. The later on, people started coming, they had sound word. And one will come and say, Daddy, I have a car. We'll dedicate it. Daddy, I have a car. We'll dedicate it. Daddy, I've built a house. We'll dedicate it. And look at you now, within five years. God can bless. God can prosper. God can change lives. God can lift people. God can favor people. One of my friends was talking to me and he said, You, it's because of the area you are, the West Legon area. So that's why you've attracted all those people. And I said, No, 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 no. They came, some came raw. Some came very raw. But the word works. The word works. Hallelujah. Like our resident pastor testified the other day. He came single. God wedded. Bought his car. Giving birth to two children. That's a very fast dodo. You see? Are you clapping for Jesus? Ah. Hallelujah. I was in the office last three days and pastor Charles came with his car keys this is what god can do hallelujah receive the blessings of god you see we, we and i'm very careful not to not to make you the materialistic type but hey it's good to be blessed so you can be a blessing to people for instance you have it and then you have become a philanthropist and you have been a blessing that's a blessing a blessing that guy prospered and his boss saw that Charlie Akwa, there's something unique about him. 
the Bible said Jacob in the house of Laban, his uncle, so served his uncle. One morning, his uncle called him and said, Hey, Jacob, there's something about you. Since you came to this house, he said that I designed, but in the Hebrew, he said, I divined. You know, the guy was a bit, you know, he was very deep. So he said, I divine them by experience as a business. I could foretell him that since you came here, I've been blessed because of you. Amen. If God is with you, people will see that it's because of you they are getting the blessing. Man telebeka sokra dista haya. I prophesy in the name of Jesus that your heaven shall be open upon your life, and God will favor you wherever you go. Whatever your hand finds to do shall be a blessing. Can you clap and give Jesus some praise? Let me come to my third point quickly. My third points. Glory to God. And the Bible said, Joseph was made the head in charge of all the estate. Of Potiphar. Wait a minute. This is a Hebrew boy. He's not an Egyptian. The tendencies or the probability of all the Egyptians who were serving in the house to gang up against him, number one, is very high. Number two, for somebody to revolt and to say, No, we don't agree. Ah, Baoga, we have been in this house all this while, and this Hebrew boy who is a slave becoming our head. But tell there's a rare man. When God decides to show up on your case, you have no competitors. Amen. Can I preach? But me say, and maybe we do it. You now both would say, sister, we now see a dead human man, or nobody will talk because it will be clear. It will be clear. They all agreed. Egyptians. Hello? Egyptians. And a Hebrew boy. Hello? Like a Ghanaian going to Saudi Arabia to become a boss. In a company. So he became the head. And they overcame him by the blood and the word of their testimonies. Let's now hear some mind boggling testimonies. I want to thank God for what the Lord has done to the bishop. Uh, I went to Accra and the bishop prophesied over me that. I was going to have an explosive ministry. And to be frank, it's been evident in my life. Uh, anytime I pick the mic, uh, there's a tangible presence and uh, the manifestation is so great. I want to say that there was a certain woman, she says uh, she's not been, uh, she's a woman, uh, she's not been having her menses for almost seven years. She has been to people, prophets. And uh, I just said a word Tuesday, I said, pick a water. Let me say something. On Friday, you you're going to bleed, and it just it just came. Ah, and it, and it, it's like I believe that the anointing is very powerful, and we should all believe it, and we thank God for His life. Amen. Amen. Wow, put those hands together. Hallelujah. Come here. You are walking more miracles in Jesus' name. Amen. Aren't you excited? Let's give Jesus all the credit. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Ernestina. Ernestina or Celestina? Ernestina. Ernestina, okay. I joined the church not quite long ago, just this February. Wow. And I was unemployed as a day. I was seriously looking for a job. But when I got here, I think for some couple of weeks ago, I was sitting right here and Daddy called me. He asked me, that, what do I want God to do for me? And I said, I need a job. And he asked me that within two weeks, I will get a job. Do I believe it? And I said, yes. So he made me kneel down over here and he prayed for me. And after five days, those people that I went for interview with, they started calling me. And <laughs> so not just once, they, they, others were calling. Yes. Nikupa kiti kiti kiti. kiti 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 kiti. So the first offer that came, I took it and I've started working with them just last week. So now you are working? Yes, daddy. <laughs> you are not clapping at all. Hey, within two weeks, can I prophesy? Within two weeks, can I prophesy? Receive your house. Receive your job. Receive your money. In the name of Jesus. Thank you.
thank you for listening in to Rema R. We hope by this message you shall be occupied with Christ Jesus and increasingly become untouchable to the things that hold you captive. For an additional copy of this CD and other life changing messages by the Bishop Ewusi Brookman, please call 054 399 6210. Please call 054 399 6210 or visit our website at www.brookmanministries.org or visit us at the Rama Carver Center Hatcher Station behind the MTN building. Join any of our three services on Sundays at 7 a.m. first service, 9.30 a.m. second service, and 5.30 p.m. evening service, and also at our Tuesday Rama prayer and prophetic service at 9 a.m. Counseling with the Bishop follows immediately after service at 2 p.m. The Ewusi Bookman Ministries preaching the gospel of grace to a dying generation. We're forever changed.